everyone, my name is Wiza and in this video we'll cover how to determine the clinical attachment loss. To begin with, the clinical attachment loss is the distance recorded from the cemento enamel junction till the junctional epithelium, which is the deepest point of the pocket. Before we move on, we need to understand the gingival recession. Now normally, gingival margins should lie at the cemento enamel junctions over here. But in gingival recession, we have the gingiva receded below the or apical to the cemento enamel junction. So the gingival margin is not on the cemento enamel junction and the root is visible. This gives us a, neg a positive value of the gingival recession that we measure. But however, when we have the gin gingival margin um, lying over the anatomical crown as in this picture, then the gingival recession is considered to be a negative value or it's an overgrowth as we see here. Now how to calculate the clinical attachment loss? First we have um, three cases that, uh, or three formulas in order to know how to calculate it. The first one is the gingival margin and is when the gingival margins lie at the cemento enamel junction here. So the pocket depth, whatever we probe, is equal to the clinical attachment loss. And that this is very simple and easy uh, when we use it in clinics. There is no need to measure anything else. For the second one, we have the gingival margins lying apical to the cemento enamel junction. In this case, we have a recession. Now, when we have a recession, after we take the pocket depth we'll also have to take the gingival recession and add them together that will give us the clinical attachment loss this is also quite easy so we need to measure from this um, cemento enamel junction till this one or like um, all at once we can measure from the cemento enamel junction till the depth of the pocket now for the last case we have it uh, when the gingival margins lie on the anatomical crown. Now this is when we have a gingival overgrowth. For this we need to measure the pocket depth which is from the gingival margins till the uh, junctional epithelium and we have to uh, subtract the gingival overgrowth or gingival the, the negative gingival recession from the margins till the cemento enamel junction and this will give us the clinical attachment loss. This one is quite tricky because it's hard for us to find the cemento enamel junction or to feel it uh, in some cases, but um, yeah, this is how it's done. Now we have here three scenarios uh, that um, show the previous uh, um, tree, uh, previous explanation. Now the red line represents the gingival margins and the blue lines represent the uh, junctional epithelium. In scenario A, we have the probing depth of five millimeters here and the recession is three. In this case, we have to add them all up, and we'll get we'll, we'll get um, an answer um, a clinical attachment loss of eight millimeters. And for the second um, scenario here, we have the probing depth of four millimeters over here, but we have no recession because this um, uh, gingival, um, gingival margin lies on the cemento enamel junction. Then uh, four plus zero recession then we'll have a clinical attachment loss of four millimeters now lastly the probing depth here is three millimeters however the gingival the gingival margins lie on the anatomical crown and when we measured the recession uh, till the cemento enamel junction we found out that is a negative three which is uh, a gingival overgrowth then we subtract these two numbers and we get um, in this case, we have the clinical attachment loss um, a, a value of zero. Uh, that's it, and hope it was helpful, and thank you so much for watching.